Welcome to Shy Sense 773. Thank you so much for checking out my video. For those checking out my video for the first time, I just wanna say welcome in. Thank you so much for viewing my video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, I would truly appreciate it. For those that have been here the whole time and all my new subscribers, I just wanna say thank you for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. They truly do go a long way. Today's video is going to be a huge haul video. I have 10 different fragrances that I've been holding on to so I can give you all a larger video with a little bit more content, a little bit more depth in some of these fragrances. I can also break them down one by one for you all as well. But I just want to start off with two fragrances um, that are a little bit on the cheaper side then we'll gradually go upward to uh, the more expensive fragrances. So if you're not familiar with the Talia Farrow's fragrances, um, the Talia Farrow is a good buddy of mine. Uh, he's out of New Jersey and his fragrance line is a very, very nice fragrance line that's more on the, again, affordable side and has great longevity and has really good smell to it. The first fragrance that I wanna talk about from his line is going to be Sicily. So the bottles come in a square bottle and it has his emblem here, Natalia Ferro. Uh, do not hold the fragrance by the top, it will fall. But this fragrance is kind of like a citrus uh, floral or more of a clean floral fragrance. So what you're gonna get from this fragrance is it's going to be a clean out of the shower but floral based fragrance that has the notes of jasmine, citrus, sweet fruits, moss, musk, sea spray, and mandarin. So this fragrance again is going to be a perfect fragrance for i would say like the springtime uh this is also perfect for summer because you're not going to choke anybody out but overall an excellent fragrance honestly i would wear this year round it does lean a little bit thin because of the floral notes but if you're not afraid of floral notes like me um, it's perfect to wear. But again, this one is Sicily. The next fragrance from the line is from his Reparations line, and this one is called Reparations 2022. So Reparations 2022 is another fragrance here. Like I said, um, this one has um, has a pink hue to it. Um, if you go ahead and get a smell on this one, this one is more of a, it's kind of more of a sweet uh, floral fragrance. So the where the other one is clean floral, this one's sweet floral. And you're getting notes of ambergris, musk, citrus, bergamot, um, peppermint, juniper berry, powder, vanilla, strawberry, and Sicilian orange. Um, this one again is a very, very nice fragrance. And I would say for the $50 mark, these are very good fragrances. If you haven't gotten an opportunity to smell any of his fragrances, he also has a sample kit, which I have a link to his website in the description as well. But again, this one is Reparations 2022. The next fragrances that I wanna talk about are from one of my favorite fragrance lines, uh, which if you watch my videos, you know it's Dreamhouse Curio. One fragrance that I had to get back because if you follow me on Instagram, you know that uh, I broke this bottle by accident. So if you're not following me, you can. It's ShySense773. Um, that's the same handle. 
Um, this one is the bottle that I broke. And this one is Damn Hippie. When I tell you this is one of my favorite fragrances and I'll be honest, you can smell this one in the air the second that you spray it. So I'm gonna spray that and it's gonna fill the room. What a beautiful, dark and resinous fragrance this one is. Uh, you're getting notes of um, patchouli, olibanum, amber, fidella, labdanum, benzoin, amberwood, musk, cedar, tree moss, and rum. When I tell you the longevity on this is amazing, the longevity on this is out of control. This is by far one of my favorite fragrances from the line. I would say this is top three best for me. Um, the next fragrance from this line that I purchased is called Hill of Tara. So Hill of Tara is a new fragrance that I truly fell in love with um, the second that I smelled it. I saw the notes and I, it was very, very intriguing. The notes are kind of uh, dark as well, but it's so good. Uh, you, It's hemlock, red clove, incense, myrrh, wood notes, lemon zest, musk, and broxen, earthy notes, and white tea. I really think this is a calming, soothing fragrance, but it's also very, very manly. Um, this reminds me of a distinguished gentleman's fragrance. Uh, overall, this one's incredible. I think this one's definitely worth wearing. This is top 10 best from the line. And also, if you all want me to, if you leave a, a if you leave a message in the video, comment down below. Let me know if you want to, uh, if you want me to rank my top Dreamhouse Securio fragrances. I can rank them by 20 or I can rank them all, uh, which I think I have about 40. So again, this one is Hill of Tara. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about is from a house that I found out about from a buddy of mine. Uh, shout out Cordell, I just wanted to thank you for telling me about this. Uh, this fragrance is called Narcotic Duce Diablo. So this one is a fingerprint magnet, unfortunately, but let me tell you, if you are into gourmand fragrances, this one is going to definitely catch your sweet tooth. This fragrance is such a beautiful, it's a beautiful fragrance that I'm surprised doesn't have cherry in it. It has uh, cognac, rum, apricot, and freesia. Then you get notes of cacao, dried apricot, again in the mid, so they're doubling up the apricot. Then you're getting honey, sugarcane, and divana with oak moss. And then finally in the base, you're getting Madagascar vanilla, sandalwood, tonka bean, patchouli, and musk. So, and then as you see the spray is a very, very nice sprayer. But, oh my gosh. This fragrance, this fragrance is amazing. Um, in the top notes, I get a lot of the rum that's in here. So it's like, if you have, if you had fruit in a cup and then you poured rum over that fruit and let it kind of sit and form and ferment for a bit, it's so good. And then you get this cacao. So in my mind at first, I thought it was Tootsie Roll and that's because of the chocolate that's in it. But it almost has like, it tricks you. The apricot has kind of this note of cherry in it. So I do smell the apricot, but for some reason I smell cherry in this fragrance as well. 
The vanilla that's in here is so beautiful. Um, I don't get any dirty notes at all. Uh, overall, this is not overly sweet. It's perfect. This is a perfectly done gourmand fragrance. Um, overall, I love this fragrance. Again, this one is Narcotic Dulce Diablo. The next two fragrances that I want to talk about are from Spirit of Kings. Uh, if you know anything about Spirit of Kings, Spirit of Kings is a fragrance company that uses a lot of high-end oils, but I believe what they do is they do more so inspirations to fix other fragrances. So I have two fragrances from the line. One is Tabana and then the other one is Matar. So Tabana and Matar, so Tabana is the purple one. Tabana is going to be um, Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. And then Matar is going to be Creed Aventus. But let me tell you something about these. Uh, Matar actually smells more like a, I would say a, a cleaner uh, fragrance of Fragrance Dubois, which is Milano, which I feel Milano is also kind of like a Tuscan leatherish fragrance. Uh, Milano goes in its own direction, just like this one. This one's a little bit smoother. Uh, it has La Yakua vibes, if you've ever smelled that fragrance before. That's kind of like a cheaper knockoff version of Tuscan leather that was unbelievably good. But this smells better than La Yakua. Um, this one has notes of uh, saffron, argarwood oud, cardamom, and bergamot. Then in the mid, you're going to get pepper and leather. And then the base, you're going to get amber. With Matar, this one smells like the older versions, the older batches of uh, Creed Aventus when Creed Aventus was amazing and everybody was still trying to dupe it but couldn't quite get the perfect dupe so i think the closest to that was uh pineapple vintage intense or no the king from pineapple vintage came really close this smells better than that i feel like uh this one has of course pineapple black currant, apple and bergamot, birch, Moroccan jasmine, patchouli, rose, and then ambergris, oak moss, musk, and vanilla. Those are all the same notes that of course are uh, in Aventus, but again, something that you can purchase. I would say these are actually priced really well. I got these for $142 each. So for 100 ml of something that smells just like those other fragrances, but better with higher oil quantity, I think is well worth getting if you don't have these in your collection or you're looking for something to kind of step in and take the place of those. But again, these are from Spirit of Kings and it's Tabana and Matar. The next two fragrances that I want to talk about are from Mio Fushiuni. Um, so uh, Giuseppe Imprezabili. I apologize that I am butchering your name, but uh, your fragrances are absolutely amazing. Um, the fragrance that I truly fell in love with between the two is Little Song. Little Song is the best coffee note fragrance that I've ever smelled. Um, this fragrance has ginger, pink pepper, and bergamot. Then in the mid notes, you're gonna get coffee, Turkish rose oil, and Leatrice. Then in the base, you're gonna get tobacco, bergamot, or I'm sorry, uh, bourbon, vetiver, civet, musk, sage, and labdanum. Wow, when I say wow, wow. This fragrance is honestly a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, 
I told my buddy about it. He got a sample. He was scurrying to find it. I told him to purchase this fragrance as quickly as possible. This one is beautiful. If you love coffee, if you are not a coffee fan, I would say stay away from this, but gorgeous fragrance. Lasts all day on the arm. Uh, I believe this one is in like the two, what is this, 280-ish mark, I believe. I'm not sure, I forgot what the price of this was, but 400 mil, the way it smells, honestly, I could do two sprays and it's perfect. Stays on my skin forever. That one was Little Song. This one is Nota Di Viago. Um, this one took me a little while for this one because this one's more of a citrus based fragrance. So this one has fig leaf, artemisia, and bergamot. And I think the fig really drew me into this one. Uh, jasmine, ylang ylang, then sandalwood, powdery notes, olibanum, benzoin, and cedar. These are um, fragrances that I, or notes that I think would be great. Um, I actually reached out to Rob from Fragrance Journey. If you haven't checked out his channel, he is the Mio Fushiuni King. He has more of the fragrances than I've seen most people have. Uh, I also heard about this from, uh, he smells like Rome. So Rome also has talked about this fragrance as well, along with Sebastian um, from the Perfume Guys. So if you checked out any three of those gentlemen, they are absolutely amazing with their content on Mio Fushiuni. But again, this fragrance I feel is a little bit more on the femme side. Uh, it gives you a bit of this wiriness uh, as the fragrance goes on. So it's not a linear fragrance by no means, uh, but it's overall a nice fragrance. I think for the spring and summertime is very, very light. This one is a winter fragrance, but I would honestly wear this year round. It's gorgeous to me. Um, but again, those are my Mio Fushiuni fragrances. The final fragrance that I wanna talk about is a fragrance that I've seen a lot of people talk about. And then also Sebastian from the Perfume Guy channel. He said this is by far the best fragrance that he's found um, in 2022 or in the last basically 20s. So this one is Thomas DeMonico's Raw Gold. I literally just got this one in today. Um, Sprayed this on my hand two hours ago. Sprayed it on my wrist an hour ago just to get the smell again. The dry down on this is incredible. When you first spray it, you get this mixture of, it's, it's a mixture of kind of like the coffee and plum in this. So let me give you the notes. It's a liquor note up top, vetiver, coffee, plum, and black pepper. In the mid, you're gonna get lipstick, suede, and leather. And then finally in the base, you're gonna get tonka bean, saffron, apopanex, patchouli, and civet. Amazing. Worth testing out. Uh, they only made 1,400 bottles, so this is limited. I know the patchouli in here, as this sits, it's going to mature more and more but gorgeous, the tobacco note, mm, gorgeous in this fragrance. Um, I don't, it, or it says it, it's not tobacco, but I'm assuming it's a mixture of the liquor and coffee with the suede that gives it this tobacco note, or it's not in there, or it doesn't say that it's in there, but on my skin, I smell tobacco very beautiful fragrance overall but thank you all so much for checking out my video i truly do appreciate it i know there were a lot of fragrances that went around there so um i do appreciate you all sitting through this and i will break some of these other fragrances down for you one by one to really tackle and get really deep into them again 
So thank you very much. Have a blessed day and take care.